Here we are now flying back into Leipzig, guys, for the start of this episode. Now, the game against Venezuela. We did not get chosen for that game, so I'm going to quickly get it right out of the way right here at the start of this episode. We lost 2-1 to Venezuela. Mateo didn't get played, and uh, we flew back here to Leipzig to get back underway nice and quickly with the Bundesliga season. We didn't go hang out with Mum. We just came straight back here. We didn't want to mess around. We wanted to focus on our career here in Leipzig and really get things sorted. We'll be heading back there one day soon. Now, we've got Mainz coming up in this episode. Then we've got AS Monaco as well in the Champions League. Guys, some more Champions League action in this episode. Let's hope it's going to be a good game. And we've also got Mainz in the Bundesliga. Now, quick shout out to our latest subscriber, Breeze92. Thank you so much for joining the GM members crew guys it's awesome to have you alongside us in this one we've got big boy we got rem kd kkd there as well joining for another month as you can see if you don't know what it is guys this join button here if you press on the channel just for a very small amount you can get these cool little badges next to your name whenever you comment the longer you uh stay a member the better well, the different ones you get as well as cool uh, emojis you can use as well if you want to know how to type those in you can and you can also get this one as well which is an exclusive my player one where you can actually become a character like you can have a character made for you uh from your choice which i can put in the game and you can interact with mateo and have like a little fan kind of meeting thing which will be really cool every month as well so guys that's something if you want to get into it then by all means please do that that'll be awesome and you can also join the gms members only discord which is really cool as well and it's getting really cool things going up in there like sneak peeks and uh the housing situation and like the pets and stuff all these cool sneak peeks i'm going to be adding in slowly and uh, as you can see guys coming up is the top goal scorers in the bundesliga so far this season we've got uh, muller there with 10 goals in 12 matches i see isaac in there and marlon both with seven goals each uh, Isaac playing 9 games and Marlon playing 11 so he's definitely doing better goals to game ratio and as you can see guys just doing some more free kick training we just did some I'm working on my stamina believe it or not I'm working on Mateo's stamina as well as his free kicks and um long passing i believe to try and get a few things changed up to kind of fit this team especially the stamina one that's really hard to train stamina at the moment we're already at about 85 stamina so you'll be seeing some more stats about that in the next episode couple uh, top of the assist table at the moment is bright still in the bundesliga doubling the second place figures he's currently sitting on 10 assists in 10 matches which is awesome from that right attacking midfield position playing okay there this season getting very knackered in our squad at the moment as the um the role that they've asked us to take on is a lot more stressful than we have ever been useful, uh, used to. And Mateo's just trying to get used to it, tracking back and helping the right back as well as letting them overlap and choosing when to let him overlap and cover him rather than go up with him for the attack. That's something Mateo is going to be working on a little bit more. Now, as you can see, guys, we're currently sitting in 10th place in the Bundesliga table so far this season. And uh, it's not looking too great, as you can see there. We're, we're, we're quite down, far down. We're 14 points. We've got 11 played, 4 wins, 2 draws, 5 losses. <clears throat> and we're going to need to do better soon if we want to progress on further into this Bundesliga campaign. Now, here we are arriving at the home stadium the Red Bull Arena for our game against Mainz guys it's going to be a pretty big game this one is pouring down here I've noticed a lot of the t games here just about every game I've been into in the Bundesliga has been raining guys so I've been trying to make it as realistic as possible by making sure that it rains in GTA I've got a little thing here that says rain every single time now everyone is fully fit after that international break as you can see so this is, should be good for us for this game guys we've got Olmo, Bright, Marlon, Isaac, Party, Adams, Hernandez, Stones, Zach Adal James and Gulashi in goal as well. So we're looking to try and get a decent result here. Everyone's fit, everyone's ready. And as you can see, I just noticed here as well for Mainz, Mothiba, the South African striker who we played alongside just even a week ago. We're playing against him here now. He is the striker for Mainz, which is pretty cool to see as well as a couple other decent players that I have heard of as well before. And uh, we're going to be getting underway with this game now, just arriving at the Red Bull Arena, looking nice inside. It's nice and warm in here. And we're going to be getting into the game at home, looking for a decent result, guys. Match day 12, we're at the Red Bull Arena, and we're looking, we need a win. As you can see, it's raining yet again. Every game so far here in Germany has been raining. It's been just constant, constant rain. And it's quite interesting and to the difference to be compared, guys. And there's also one thing I have to note is upcoming in December and January, I believe that is the winter break and uh, that's gonna be really cool we get like four weeks off so guys do you want to see me skipping straight through the winter break leave your comments down below or do you want to see me going to try and do some more investigating I think I'm gonna do some more investigating but let me know what you think we should do guys it's actually not that far away we're already progressing through the season really well and here we are getting underway with uh, match day 12 I think it was of the Bundesliga getting underway with this game now a couple of minutes in against mains 05 what can we do with it here now looking at this next chance coming forward bright on the ball there gets tripped up and it's gonna be a free kick here to um 
Leipzig and we take it quickly there Malin on the ball there laying it back to Isaac Isaac trying to get it through there but Bright couldn't quite get on the end of it and the attack fills it out pretty quickly as they pass it back to their goalkeeper can we get an interception here now 25 minutes into this one no here they come with the chance now Mains on the ball there laying it forward to Frank Frank they're pushing it into Mathiba our South African teammate here and we're trying to track back a little bit just to help out the passes into um, Beltran there who takes a pass to Pella and uh, he gets a good save in from the Gulashi there and denies them this chance in this game guys Neil on the scoreline at the moment Bright there picking up the ball in the right mid position Isaac there taking it forward a little bit further now excuse me to Marlon Marlon on the ball waiting for options to open up Isaac here's got a chance to lay it wide but he tries to go central instead and doesn't quite get it wide now he does Bright with a really nice chip through to Marlon. Marlon tries to get it first time into the box and it doesn't quite come to anything. And here we are, two minutes away from half time now. 43 minutes played. A poor pass there from Bright. Sees an attack opening up suddenly from the Thieber of Mainz. He's laid it back there to Fernandez. Fernandez across there. Harry on the ball there. Takes a shot across goal. And Gulashi makes a great save. That would have been Mateo's mistake then if that had gone in the back of the net. Now we're 52 minutes in, guys, into the second half here. Leipzig nil. Mainz nil. Harry on the ball here. Looks to get this one inside the box. Theo makes a great tackle in there. Hernandez just trying to track back and help out a little bit here at this left back position now Fernandez to Mathiba Mathiba lays it through there and a chance at the near post but Galashi makes an easy save on that one and a substitution now being made guys oh, I just wanted to put this in there to show you the subs 61 minutes in Kurt Zuma coming on here and uh, there's also going to be another sub straight after that which I found quite funny very soon guys you'll find out that one in a minute Mathiba now on the ball for Mainz 05 pushing forward now what's he going to do with it here and he's just laid it wide a really good chance here for Mainz what are they going to do with it now Frank on the ball lays it back to the um, attacking left back and he's going to cut inside the box now lay it on the edge of the box there to Fran Fran to Mothiba with the shot and he's hit the post the South African teammate almost scoring a goal here in this game but it's still Leipzig nil mains nil and there was an offside there which ended the run of play now Bright is back on the ball 73 minutes into this game now Bright is back to being his usual tired self here on this right attacking mid position being constantly asked to track back by the manager makes it very hard to get forward but here we are in the attacking area now Theo Hernandez on the ball gets a good cross in there a chance at the back post from Mateo but he can't quite get his head on it past the defenders and a rebound might be coming in for us can we get a chance here Bright on the ball looks to let forward there great ball there to Olmo back to Bright Bright takes a shot it's in the back of the net it is 1-0 in this game 76 minutes played RB Leipzig 1 mains 05 nil and we have taken the lead here guys what a nice little piece of play that was from Bright to lay it through there really well weighted and then Olmo knew to stop turn around and pass it straight back to Bright who was running into that little gap in the middle now that was Mateo Bright's third goal in the Bundesliga this season Definitely not scoring as many as we did in the um, Reading team in the Premier League or the Championship. But we are getting assists and we are getting goals, which is the main thing. We're getting a few. And uh, playing in an attacking mid position, which is more of a defensive attacking mid position for some reason. Heading now coming forward on the ball. And Zuma here with an interception here. Now laying it forward and a chance to get it back to Bright. Bright's going to wait for the overlapping right back run. Is Bright going to go with him here? Or is he going to make the right choice and stay back? Bright stays back at the right back position just because he's so knackered and lets the right back go get the cross in. No, we can't quite get it past the goalkeeper. And uh, the ball has been cleared out of play. And it looks like they're going to get this one cleared away nicely in the 86th minute, guys. Still 1-0 on the scoreline. Can we hold this lead for the final minute of the game? Beltran on the ball to Frank. They're coming forward with a chance now. Mains there, laying it to Heddy. On the ball, lays it back. They've got two minutes to stop his time. And here it comes, the through ball. Fran with the shot. And a great save from Gulashi. Hopefully that is all that is in this game, guys. There's about one minute to go on the scoreline. It's still 1-0 to Leipzig. Can we get this one away here? Zuma there. It goes, gets cleared away a little bit. Onward there, laying it to Bright. What's Bright doing on the ball now? Tries to take it around his man. And no, that was a mistake, guys. Hopefully this doesn't cost us. It's the 92nd minute. Can this game just end so that we can get a 1-0 victory? Beltran on the ball. Laying it forward to Hedy. What's he going to do with it now to Frank? Frank is here. What's going to happen? No, I can see it. Ninety-four minutes played. Mateo Bright's mistake. Go on, timestamp it. I know you want to. Leads to an equalizing goal. Ninety-four minutes, guys. I feel so bad for giving it away. I could have just cleared it. I didn't actually realize what the time was in game when that happened. And they've gone and scored. 94 minutes of 92 minutes added on and of course as soon as we kick off the final whistle blows all Mateo had to do was clear it but he got caught up in the moment didn't even realize what the time in the game was and then all of a sudden we have gone from being 1-0 up for we were in position to grab all three points and we've given it away just like that I take full responsibility for that one that was Mateo's fault didn't clear it in time should have done better guys you can timestamp my mistake if you like I feel bad 
and we drew one uh, one on the scoreline, which really sucks. And now the manager has called us in for a meeting, guys. I can't believe it, especially after what just happened. And it's in the news as well. RB Leipzig manager questions bright performances. He saw it just as much as everybody else. No one said anything, but they saw it just as much as we did, guys. So we're arriving here at the Leipzig office where we're about to be heading up to have a meeting with the manager. I'm so scared about what he has to say. I've been trying so hard this season to play well, and it's just not working as well as I thought it would. We've been getting a couple of assists, but the results aren't coming, and having to track back defensively so often is paying a price. I don't feel like I should even be tracking back half the time, but I've been doing it because that's what we've been asked. And maybe it's time for a change. Maybe Mateo's going to get dropped here, guys. Maybe it's just not working out for us this season, and he wants to replace us with somebody else. But as you see it's gone public he's made it known to the media that he is unhappy with my performances and he's obviously called us in for a meeting here for a reason so Mateo is in his coat in the rain heading up to the office about to see what the manager has to say guys and here we are heading up we catch the elevator we go all the way up to the one of the higher floors and we arrive at the Leipzig office and uh, here we are about to head in a couple of people here guys as you can see the Leipzig boards up there in the background as well and uh, the manager's office should just be here on the left and yes, there's a couple of people here in the office as well. We see him in there, we go inside, and uh, he brings us in, waves us in a little bit, and uh, we go over to see what he has to say to Matteo right now. Uh, Matteo, thanks for coming in today. Um, let's get started on uh, uh, the reason we're here. Now, recently I've noticed the team lacking in performances on the pitch, fitness concerns for a lot of players, and fixture congestions not really going in our favor. So. We're going to be changing a few things around here, and I, I hope this is going to be okay with you. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what you have to say. Yep, so, I know I've been playing you far out of position on the right attacking midfield area, and I'm thinking about moving you across to the left attacking midfield position, so that it's a bit closer to your natural position, and somewhere you play more often for your national side and for your former team you kind of played on that side a little bit more than uh, playing on the right so we're thinking about moving you over there how does that sound to you actually that sounds like a really good idea i think it'd be good to freshen the team up and maybe maybe give us a bit of a different kind of outlook and playing on that left wing is definitely more of a natural position for me it might be easier for me to adapt a little bit better and yeah i think it's probably a good idea all right and there's one other thing as well, as well as playing you in that position, we will be resting you reasonably and uh, giving you quite a lot of off time. So there'll be games when you're not get played. Don't take it personally. It's not because I haven't picked you. Remember your contract was a rotation player position, which means as well as many other players in the squad so that I can have the, the free will to rotate players when I feel the necessary need to and uh, give the right players the right opportunities as well. So you'll be getting rested a lot more more coming up soon and you'll be getting in this new position and just go with it okay you might be getting subbed off in the middle of games as well just let it happen i want to keep you guys as fresh and fit as possible and try not to sh put any strain on too many people okay yep that sounds great man thanks so much no worries now um i will be resting you for our next game so uh go home get some rest and we'll see you in the one after that next week and see you at training okay uh yeah all good thank you um see you later Surprisingly enough, I thought that went pretty well. I thought Mateo was going to get in trouble here, but guys, the manager's actually doing it tactically, thinking properly. He knows something's not right. He's placing me back on the left and second mid position. He's resting me for our next game. Unfortunately, our next game is in the Champions League against Monaco, which is unfortunate, but we get a rest, which means when we come back, probably in the Bundesliga, we might have a bit more energy, a bit more of a chance. So here we are at home, guys. A couple of days later, the game against Monaco is about to happen on the TV. It's at home as well. Or I think, no, I think it's away in France. And we have not been selected in the squad, as you can see. All this is legit happening. I'm just making storylines around it. We're here with our dog, guys. Still haven't come up with a name yet. I will be thinking about that and checking out your comments. As you can see from the table there, the top goal scorers as well and uh, the top assisters, guys. It's just the Champions League stats for you guys to see. And... Um, we're about to be getting underway with the simming of this match here in this episode. As you can see, we're currently sitting top of the assist sheet in the Champions League and the Bundesliga, which is really great to see. So three in the in this one. And then, guys, as you can see, we have been replaced by Visca, which is uh, interesting. Olmo there on the left, Visca on the right, Dalvez, Marlon, knackered, Parties knackered, Adams there as well. As for uh, Monaco, they've got the likes of Villa, Paula, Valand, uh, San Renato Sanchez, Ruben Lotus cheek as well. So they're looking pretty dangerous. Let's hope we can get a result here today, guys because it might just spare us on and look at that a big 3-0 win without Mateo 
What are the chances? Possession 35%, 65%. So we've done well. Theo Hernandez getting one goal, Isaac getting another, and Chan getting the other one as well. So it's a 3 0 victory here in a very well played Champions League game, I think, for the uh, Leipzig team. And we'll be having a look very shortly as we head on into the next. Uh, thing guys what the table is looking like in the Champions League as well because we're going to be checking that out and seeing how well we are doing because I think now we'll, we'll double check soon but I think we are into the court uh, to the knockout stages I think we've made it far enough and done enough on the pitch to get to that stage now coming up in this game we've got Muchin Gladbach coming up on the 26th of November 2022 guys this is going to be a big game I think this one's away from home so we're going to be heading to their arena here is group C now guys with one game remaining we are four points clear uh, alongside Barcelona we're currently sitting top so we've definitely grabbed ourselves first or second place whether we get first or second in our final game of the um, of the uh, group stages we'll find out soon we're back in now and guys the first time this season the manager has stuck to his word and put us in the left attacking mid position this is huge for Mateo you don't understand playing left wing for South Africa then playing left attacking mid here is way better than playing right attacking mid I don't even know why he was playing his out right attacking mid here is the lineup for the opposition team for Mission Gladbach they've got 4-4-1-1 formation and here is our bank details as we head on into the bus guys we're just climbing into the bus and now we have 225,000 pounds available to spend what we're going to spend it on is still a mystery like some of you have been saying in the comments we're going to be saving maybe maybe we stay here for a couple of seasons we'll have to see how this season pans out at the moment because it's a bit of a question mark at the moment whether we stay here or not i think we we should i think we should build on it at least for another season or two and see how we do it in the bundesliga maybe some other offers will come through we'll never know and uh, we've got the january um winter um break coming up as well but guys it's here it's raining once again we're at Muchen Gladbach we're at the Borussia Stadium I believe and uh, we're going to be getting underway with a pretty big fixture here this guy's a pretty good team and uh, they're doing pretty well in the league as well so we'll get a big game against us in this one the likes of Sommer in goal there as well it's going to be a hard one to get past but hopefully we can do the job guys we're playing on the left attacking mid position remember that's the biggest change of this game is uh, we've swapped sides and now we'll be playing, instead of playing kind of closer to Isaac, we'll be playing closer to I uh, Marlon in this one, I believe, which will be interesting to see. Look, we're here on the left. We're starting this game now. We're against Muchin Gladbach, and we're going to be looking for a victory here, guys, in their stadium. We're away from home. Can we do it here today? And uh, Gladbach now coming forward with a chance of their own three minutes into this one. What are they going to do with it here? Are they going to take an early lead like they have been doing so many times since and they're laying it inside? They've got a really good chance, but Kana gets a good tackle in there, and Thomas Patsy there laying it forward for a counterattack for us. Can we get this ball forward now? Bright takes a great touch, and the first thing he does is great, a great through ball there to Marlon. Marlon on the ball now, tries to cut inside there, gets tackled, and the defenders manage to get it clear. But a positive start from Bright there, laying a really good through ball from the left attack in mid position. And here we come now with the next chance coming for Muchin Gladbach. They lay it short there, an easy chance at the near post was saved well by Gulashi in this game. Nine minutes gone, guys. Only ten minutes into this one. A great interception here from Bright from that corner. Sees a counter-attack on its way. Bright using his speed and pace to try and run through. Can he get it to Marlin? Yes, he can. Look, another great through ball from this left side. What a start this is. Marlin but shoulders off his man. And he scores a goal. And another assist for Bright in the league. That's his 11th assist of the season. And another goal for Marlin. I think that's his eighth goal of the season as well. Look at these guys linking up so nicely together on the pitch, guys. We need to make something happen off the pitch, that's for sure. Maybe we can invite him over sometime because that is something we we haven't done yet and uh they're a very nice through ball look at that through ball just glides along really nicely mullen even manages to shoulder his defender off onto the ground who slipped over and uh he gets through on goal and scores a very nice finish across goal now we're one new up here against gladback what are we going to be able to do now in this game guys can we hold this lead to the final whistle Matteo feels much more confident much more um Spatially aware of where he is on the pitch being on this left side guys It's so much better playing on this left side for me as well and cutting in on my right foot and unfortunately Just like that 26 minutes later a corner goes in and the equalizers on just like that The game is back on level terms didn't even see it coming from the corner It just flies in the box and get shot at goal and it goes in the back of the net to make it 1-1 on the scoreline look at this the ball comes into the box it goes right into the six yard area right on the edge of it the man jumps up misses a header from our place and uh gulashi misses it the defender on the line misses it and it goes straight through the middle into the back of the net for his first goal of the season in the bundesliga why so many first goals i'll never know and uh, they have gone and scored a goal here guys it's back to 1-1 on the scoreline 27 minutes played can we turn this game around can we grab ourselves a lead in this one it's a pretty close game so far hernandez overlapping on the left 
left hand side now we've got to work with him on this left hand side instead of Reese on the right hand side cutting inside waiting for Mateo's pass it goes to Mateo but he just lets it roll past him a little bit too much for some reason and doesn't quite lead to the chance we wanted and here comes a counter attack now from uh, Gladback they're pushing forward Sanson on the ball what are they going to do with it here good interception though and can we come forward now Thomas Party on the ball another interception and here comes Gladback with the second counter attack right here in this 36th minute they've laid it through there it's a great chance he's beaten the defender can he beat the goalkeeper yes he can it's in and Leipzig now trail two goals to one 37 minutes played and uh, Gladbach have taken the lead in this one how unfortunate that is guys we had a really good couple of attacks that last attack where Theo Hernandez laid it central to Bright and then Bright let it roll past him by accident I'm not sure what happened there guys it just rolled past my player couldn't do anything about it and they ended up taking it and getting a goal from the counter off that attack which is really really unfortunate for us and uh, we have conceded here and it will be 2-1 on the scoreline now as we head on into halftime in about 5-6 minutes are we going to be able to turn this game around guys do we have enough in us at the moment the players look like a whole bunch of individuals out there sometimes playing really well there's some sparks of brilliance and here we come now with the next chance of the game 45 minutes in right on the halftime mark a great through ball that's a bright and Bright just tries to take the shot across goal. Sommer makes a great save. And uh, here we are just starting the second half now, guys. It's just begun. And uh, can we get something out of it? Can we push forward now? Theo Hernandez on the ball, making really good left-hand side runs, trying to get forward. But uh, he kind of decides to back off this time as we pass it around the defense, looking for another way forward. Bright knows he's there, waiting for the through ball options to come through to him. And uh, Marlon tries to get it central, but Bright goes and does it instead. Here we come now. Tries to get a through ball through. Doesn't quite lead to anything here. And uh, here comes a chance now for Glenn. Back. Once again, they're playing counter-attacking football, and it's working. Here they come with it now, catching us off guard, but a good interception leads to a chance now for a through ball here. Another through ball, really nice one to Marlon. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Of course he can finish. It's another goal here. It's 2-2 on the scoreline. And uh, Bright with another assist, 12 assists in the league this season. And Marlon's just making those perfect runs, and Bright is able to thread the ball through with a simple through pass. Look at this guy, just waits, and then through balls it straight into the gap. And Marlon takes one touch, and bang, it's in once again. He is now one away from a hat-trick. Hopefully he can grab it in this game. He scored nine goals in the Bundesliga this season. And Mateo is sitting on 12 assists, which is really great to see. Another assist here. Pulling us level on the scoreline at 2-2. Can we sort this out now? Can we grab one more goal in this to get a winner? Because we're so close to doing it, guys. Here we come forward now. A chance now. Binez on the ball there. Laying it forward here for Gladbach. What's he going to do with it now? Running into the space. No one's pressuring him. No one's tackling him. He lays it through there. And a near post save from Gulashi is a game saving save. Look at that. Dalvez now coming on for Marlon. Unfortunately, Marlon has been subbed off after playing so well. Let's hope Dalvez can do the same. And within the first, within the same minute there of the substitution, Chan also comes on as well. I think it's center attacking mid. So he's going to be up front as well. We've got two new strikers on the pitch, guys. We've got some pace up there. So maybe it's a good chance to sit back and lay some through balls as the strikers run onto them. 63 minutes into the game now. Chance coming forward and Mateo Bright not having any of it. Getting back, making a tackle for his team and showing the manager he can defend as well. Guys, now 68 minutes in and Gladbach get intercepted here and it's a chance for um, Leipzig on the ball. Chan there laying it through there to Herrera. Back through to Bright who has the shot. Should have gone near post. Tried to go across goal but was caught on the wrong foot and didn't quite get it on target. Now, John Stones has come off and I think Kurt Zuma is coming on at center back guys. That's our third substitution of this game. Thomas Partey now leading the attack now. 75 minutes in. Dalvez there laying it there to Bright. Bright's on the ball there. Tries to take a shot and it's just not going to go in for Bright today. That shot should have gone in. Cut back across with that touch. Opened up the space so nicely and ends up hitting the post. Dalvez now on the ball here. Can he lay it wide? He's laid it back instead to Party, who's got it to Bright. Bright's got an overlapping run from Theo Hernandez. What's he going to do with it now? 80 minutes in. 10 minutes remaining. Bright there laying it short to Dalvez. Dalvez there and only just should have shot but he couldn't quite get it away in time and it was blocked and cleared away 81 minutes in now Chan back on the ball Adams here laying it forward to Bright Bright tries to take a long shot there and Sommer makes a great save again keeping them in this game with only a few minutes now remaining guys 87 minutes played a great through ball comes through there to Thuram he's just come on recently as a sub so he's got quite a lot of energy he cuts it inside a shot there great save by Gulashi once again he is doing really well in this game guys since he's been playing and playing he's been doing so much better than Mvogo 
But unfortunately, all we could gather from that was a 2-2 draw. So we drew 1-1 in the last game in this episode, a 2-2 draw in this game. And unfortunately, we're only grabbing two points out of a possible six out of this episode. It is, it is disappointing. It's tricky. That first game, Mateo gave it away. This one, we probably could have scored a few more and it just wasn't able to get in the back of the net. Now, to finish this episode off, we're going to be looking at a couple more stats and bits of upcoming games. We've got Osberg coming up on the 3rd of December, guys. It's a pretty huge game. And then we've got Barcelona in the Champions League. That is at home. Guys, that's going to be here at the Red Bull Arena against Barcelona in the next episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, we're sitting in 10th place on the table and uh, looking at the final stats guys this is what the candle looks like for December we've got Osberg um, Barcelona Munich and we've got a couple other teams like Wolfsburg as well and then after Wolfsburg is our international uh, our big winter break guys so make sure you stay tuned for that some interesting things are going to be happening during that break as you can see we've got at least four weeks off and then we don't start again until mid-January that is it for me for this episode and I'll see you guys all in the next one peace out